Hey, so what's going on everyone? I have another video here to share with all of you on how Bluetooth and Wi-Fi works in the control center with iOS 11. I'm using the iPhone 7 Plus for this video. And yesterday I uploaded a video where I believe there was a bug in the control center when you would toggle off Bluetooth or toggle off Wi-Fi and the services wouldn't actually turn off. Well, it turns out I dug into this because you guys left a lot of comments on that video and there was a lot of engagement there and I wanted to find out what was going on. So it turns out this is how Apple wants it to be. That way you can continue to have other services available to you like, you know, AirPlay, Apple Watch, Apple Pencil, AirDrop, whatever you're, you know, using. And let me just go over this and show you what I'm talking about so that you can see right there the services are turned off. OK, if you go into settings on your device or phone, you can see right here those are turned off. So if I bring up the control center and I, uh, you toggle on those services, you come back in here. OK, the services are turned on. OK, so let's bring up the control center again and I want to turn off Wi-Fi. Well, you can't actually turn off Wi-Fi. What this is here for is for you to disconnect from Wi-Fi. So watch at the top of the screen when I toggle that off. It says disconnected from whatever service, okay? If we take another look in there, we're still turned on here. It didn't actually turn off. It just disconnected us from whatever Wi-Fi we were connected to. The same with Bluetooth, okay? If you, turn, if you toggle off this Bluetooth from the control center, you can go in here. It'll say not connected because it kicks you off of whatever whatever Bluetooth device you're connected to, but the service still stays on. Now, here's where I'd like to hear your guys' feedback and comments. Like, is that an inconvenience for you to have to go in there and actually manually turn these services off like that individually like this? Or would you rather do that from here? You can see since I turned them off, they turned off here. Because one thing I noticed is cellular. Like right now, cellular's turned on. So if I take a look here, you can see cellular's on. Well, I can actually turn cellular on and off from the control center. So if I hit that, you can see all the services are off, of course. So if I bring up the control center again and I turn on cellular, it will turn that back on just like that. It re-enables that. So that one, you can actually, you know, cellular, you can actually turn on and off from the control center. But these services here, it actually, I think what it is, is meant to be helpful to us. So, you know, the services are still on, but you're just disconnected from whatever network you were on and you know disconnected from whatever device you were on but that is how this control center is meant to work so i'm just going to turn those services back on so i don't know if that's confusing to you guys or whatever but i think you kind of get what's going on here so that is how it's supposed to work i don't believe they're going to put an update out for it comment below on you know i want to know what you guys think of that do you think that's something apple could fix or do you guys think that you know it's something you could get used to i'd really like to hear your feedback and again guys uh thanks a lot for watching and i'll catch you guys next time have a good one